guys how you all doing welcome to my channel my name is prudence and today 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 is the day that the lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it welcome to shine sunday a sunday that i really really look forward to i love my my shine sundays because i really get to relax i really get to reflect on my week this is a day that i look back and ask myself what did i do all week long any productivity that happened or any challenges that I, I faced, irregardless of whatever outcome that I had during the week, I get to reflect on Sundays. Number two, I get to plan ahead my week. I get to plan, you know, what I really wish my week could be like or my day could be like. I get to plan on a Sunday. And number three, I get to do my self-care routines. This is a day where I don't do anything nothing i'm a mother i know and i have to you know to run around with the kids but this sunday y'all i just relax and say this is my day this is my me day i'm going to have some me time i get to do some pamper routines as you can see my skin has been breaking out ever since i started my waist load my my weight loss journey i think it's because my body was just re rejecting some stuff so i'm working on my skin i'm working on my body i'm working on myself in general so i look forward to my sundays okay but today we are not going to talk about all of that i want to talk about how to have a productive day and how to have a productive week okay and with me i have four tips four tips that are going to help you these are tips that have been helping me since january actually and at some point i felt demotivated during lockdown but i had to dust myself up and say i am not going to be locked down i'm on lockdown but i'm not going to be locked down okay but before i get started i just want to say if you are new to this channel please press the subscribe button join the family subscribe like share and comment in the section below if you are coming back i really appreciate it okay so let's get started my tip number one on how to have a productive day is to make a list a night before make a list a night before like today sunday if you want to plan for the whole week make your list today what you want to do how do you see your week going on you know just write it all down that's going to keep you motivated and it's going to keep you in check it's going to remind you whether you write in a channel or you have an app i also have an app it's called to do and it helps me a lot it actually has times whereby you know you write from six to seven i'll be doing this from six to ten i'll be doing this it's really helpful for me and i really really like it i do it at night before so that's one thing that really really helps me um, with helping with having a productive day okay so my tip number two is to plan your stuff prepare your stuff a night before again now someone might be thinking at least and stuff yes I am on a weight loss journey like I said so sometimes I feel demotivated it's winter here in South Africa and there are days when I don't feel like getting out of my bed I just want to stay in bed you know all day long but at the same time I really want to get in shape I really want to you know to work on myself to work on my business and stuff so I really have to get my stuff together what do I mean by stuff I put my workout clothes next to my bed when I get up in the morning I put on my workout clothes instead of putting on a gown first I put on my workout clothes first put on my on my shoes yes my workout shoes like I'm fully geared up even though I'm not going to immediately start with my workouts but that on its own it's a motivation for me to remove it without working out like mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it, won't, it won't look good so I do that and so whatever it is that you do whatever it is that you want to work on put your stuff in within your reach if you want to go jogging if you want to do your laundry first thing in the morning you know just make sure that you put your laundry where you see it when you wake up like okay it's right there you have to do it then you will do it okay so that's just an example anyway my tip number three is that you have to try and wake up an hour earlier okay wake up an hour earlier before the time that you planned to do so it helps your mind it helps your mind to to prepare for the day for me i'll be in bed but i'll be thinking about my day i'll be thinking about what i want to do and there are times when i'm like huh, it's morning please you know what i'll just see it later but because you have goals because you have dreams because you have a day that you really need to 
accomplish some stuff i start thinking about my day it motivates me and i get into that positive mind i prepare my mind and i start affirming yes i do affirm in my bed i'm like you know what you are going to do this you can do this you are a strong woman it's cold but you are going to work out today you have kids you have to take care of the household you know i just start telling myself that i'm a homemaker yep that's me i just start telling myself that you're a woman of God, you need to give all glory to God, do everything for God's glory. So that keeps me, you know, motivated. It keeps me inspired and all throughout the day, I will have a productive day. Okay, so number four, last but not least, is that you have to pray. This is the bonus, this is the utmost, you know, tip for me. Like. There are times when we plan things and they don't go the way we want it to. And because we wanted it to happen so bad the way we wanted it to, we get frustrated. We start throwing uh, tantrums. We are angry. We are, you know, but if you're a child of God, you know that all things work out for, the, for those who believe. And you know that God establishes our ways. You know, the word of God says, we plan, but God establishes our way. So whatever you plan, just put it in God's hands and say, Lord, if it is your will, let it happen. If it is not, let me rejoice and know that you are still in charge, you are still in control, and all things are working out for me. So that helps a lot. There are times, there are tons of times when I've planned things and they don't go the way that I wanted to because God had something else for me. Okay, whether it's good or bad, just know that it was for your own good. One day you look back and reflect and say, you know what, that thing happened, I was hurt, but you know, it helped me somewhere, somehow. Okay, so those are my four tips, guys. I really need to relax today. I am literally recording this video today on a Sunday. For some reason, I was busy throughout the week. I could not record prior, but I had to quickly do it today in the morning. But um, it is what it is. I thank God for the opportunity for me to finally record this video. So I just want to inspire you to say, stay positive, guys. Remain positive, be consistent, and believe that this too shall pass. We remain faithful even in the midst of the storm okay so have a blessed day have a blessed sunday if you are like me you're going to have your pamper routine enjoy it relax it's okay to relax and not care about anything it's okay self-love is not selfish love yourself more because no one else is going to love you okay so have a blessed day guys and see you in my next video bye